Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. I hope you're enjoying your day. Now before getting into this review, I just wanted to show you these cool bracelets from Skeleton HD. And even came with this nice little pouch here, which can be used for holding them. And a discount code for my viewers, which is, I believe you can say 15% right there. I will leave all that info in the description below. But let's get into the bracelets. So you have these cool bracelets from this brand called Skeleton HD. This is the Lava Stack. They call it, and it's $120, I believe. Comes in this nice little pull-out box. And inside, we get some nice little bracelets here. So let's uh, take a look at these bracelets here. Now, these bracelets can be used for, you know, accessorizing your watches and stuff like that, or just wear it, uh, you can just wear it separately, honestly. And as you can see, we get nice volcanic beads here with these nice detailed silver skulls, as you can see the detailing. Let me get in a little closer there. Very nicely detailed. Now I want to show you what these look like paired with one of my watches. As you can see here is the single skull, little uh, gold and silver action going on here. Uh, they fit nicely over watches and they, I think they look pretty cool. And I'll go on and throw on another watch right now as well. Let me put this down. And there you go. As you can see they kind of kind of goes nice with the stainless steel sports Rolex. Uh, you know it doesn't really get in the way of things. You can also wear it on the other side as well. Uh, they, they are elastic, so they, they can stretch. There's no problem there. And you can also see the other one right now. So here's me wearing both of them. This is the full stack. That's two bracelets. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, I definitely think they're pretty cool. They feel comfortable. They don't really pull your arm hair. They go well with uh, the silver ones, in my opinion, go best with stainless steel sports watches. And uh, it just adds some flavor and some character. So definitely check them out. I will leave a link in the description below. Okay, so let's get into the Sturmansky Yuri Gagarin uh, space watch. This was the first watch in space in 1961 by Russian cosmonaut Yuri. And here's the box the watch comes in. This came from R2A. They sent me in this watch for review. I will leave a link in the description below. It comes in this nice red stitched box embossed Sturmansky logo here, which is pretty nice. Obviously, I unboxed the watch already. If you read the written review on watchaddictchannel.com, uh, let's get started with a wristwatch check. My newly acquired 16570 Rolex Explorer 2, which I bought about two weeks ago. And I've been trying to review this, but I've been so busy lately. The review, the review for this will be coming soon, guys. So just stay tuned. Anyway, let's get into this box right here. So here's the model we are taking a look at today. This is the manual wound uh, Sturmansky Yuri Gagarin uh, re-edition of the original space watch. And it's quite a stunning watch. Um, it's a really well-built watch, I've realized. Now, starting off with some basic specifications here. We are looking at a 316L solid stainless steel case. It's 40 millimeters in diameter. It's also 12 millimeters thick. We get some polished surfaces and some brushed surfaces. The finishing is really good on these watches. Uh, I've realized the finishing is really nice. So these sides are obviously brushed, as you can see. They're very smooth, nice lines. And as you can see, the top of the lugs are finely high polished. Uh, it looks very nice there. And going around to the crown, as you can see, the crown is polished. While this side remains brushed, of course. The smooth bezel is also highly polished for some nice little bling factor there. I think that looks pretty cool. So yeah, in terms of lug to lug distance, we are looking at 49 millimeters or your wingspan. 49 millimeters there, so you know, very wearable. Um, in terms of style, I would say this is more of a casual watch. Can be dressed up as well. And this nice embossed uh, leather band here. Now this watch is very similar to the original space watch uh, introduced in 1961 that was worn on the space mission by Russia by Yuri Gagarin. Only his model was actually 33 millimeters. So this is 40 millimeters, seven millimeters bigger. They're actually using this same movement inside of this watch as the, the, um, the movement that was used back then. It's a Polyot movement. It's a very cool Russian movement. It's a manually wound movement. So it's very reliable as well, fairly accurate. And you can even see it through the exhibition case back here, which I'll show you right now. It's quite a nice looking movement. And it's fairly simple. You can see your, um, you know, the bridges have some nice striping on them. There's the balance wheel right there at the bottom. And yeah, it's also held down by screws. One, two, three, and four screws there. So I found that to be quite interesting. We do get some nice Russian lettering here, which I have no clue what that means because I don't speak Russian. Sorry about that. Any of you guys are Russian, leave that down in the comment section below. 
So here's a quick glance at the movement. It's not a bad looking movement. Get some nice red stars there. I think that's pretty cool. So the watch is manually wound. So all you gotta do is just wind it up. It's a 17 joule movement. This one's running about plus 10 seconds a day, which is not too bad. After a full wind, you'll get, I believe you can get around 40 hours of power reserve I've got with this one. It's a pull and push crown, only 30, uh, 30 meters of water resistance or three atmospheres. So it's a pull and push crown. We do not get a hacking feature on this movement, um, which some of you might like, some of you might not. You know, even some high-end like Patek watches don't have hacking. It's just a, uh, a thing that a company chooses to do or not. I guess they chose not to add a hacking feature to this movement. But it's just a time-only watch. Nice lettering here. All of, this, all of these Arabic numerals are fully loomed which glow a, a nice bright green, which is really nice. I do like the accented, uh, the red accents on the second hand. It's quite long, reaches out into the minute marking track. I do like that. The hands are nice and legible, which is a good thing. As you can see, we get the original factory logos here. The Sturmansky logo with the red star and the wings down at six. Some nice Cyrillic lettering. If I can focus in there, there you can see at the six o'clock position. I'm assuming that says made in Russia. And yeah, it's quite a nice looking watch. Um, the crystal itself is very domed and it definitely gives off some nice, you know, reflections and stuff like that from different angles. It is a mineral crystal. And uh, yeah, I think it looks fine though. It's very legible, it's very clear. It's, uh, you know, it's fine in my book, I think. So yeah, it's a very simple watch. We do have a 20 millimeter lug width. Now the strap it does come on is a genuine leather uh, strap with red stitching. It has the embossing or the, um, I believe that's like a, you know, alligator or crocodile. I believe alligator embossing here. And uh, it is labeled Sturmansky right here. And it is genuine leather. Now this watch is a limited edition watch. So you can see this is number 787 of 999. So there's not many of these watches and R2A has a few of them I believe. Uh, you can check out their website but it's definitely a limited watch and probably in a couple years it's not going to be easy to get one of these brand new. Now um, the price I believe is $499 and it's a very well built watch. It feels like it should cost at least that much um, in my eyes. Some of you might be like well it doesn't even have a sapphire crystal. Well, you know, honestly, um, I think it looks fine with the mineral crystal. You know, I'm doubt, I doubt you would even notice. It looks very nice. The dial even seems like it's slightly curved, as you can see there, due to that nice dome. I do like that. Right now, I want to get you guys a loom shot. The loom is actually really good on this watch, and it was quite surprising. So let's get into that. Here is a loom shot, and as I was saying earlier, the loom is pretty good. All of the numerals are lit up. The hands are lit up as well. You know, if we're not really like a dive watch or a sports watch, the loom is really, really bright and it doesn't fade quick as you can see right there. So I think it's perfectly suitable for this timepiece. Now here's the watch on my 6.5 inch wrist. And as you can see, a 40 millimeter case is gonna fit just perfect on my wrist as usual. It definitely conforms nice to the wrist with these downward curved lugs here. I do like that. It's fairly comfortable. It's very comfortable actually. And it definitely has a nice fit on the wrist. Uh, the polishing definitely helps as well. Uh, it makes it stand out a bit I would say. There's the buckle. It's a pretty standard brush buckle. Um, just a standard buckle there. And I think it you know, feels nice. It feels pretty tough too as well. It's definitely a well-made watch. I will say that. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today, guys. Uh, you know, in conclusion, if you want actually the first watch in space, you know, a lot of people are so mesmerized by Omega, and they think the Omega Speedmaster is like the only space watch. There are tons of other space watches from a number amount of brands that uh, have a lot of history in space. And, you know, this is actually the first watch in space. So if, you, if you're really a nerd about that stuff, I recommend picking one of these up. This is actually the a re edition of the first watch in space, and it looks very similar if you do your research. Um, it's just obviously a little bigger for today's modern times. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did producing it for you. Uh, let me know what you think. Check out watchaddictchannel.com. You can see the full written article on this watch and some other cool stuff, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.